Storm Anna, deadly Africa storm shows climate crisis reality, UN. Uh, storm Anna made tens of thousands of homeless across Madagascar, Malawi, and Mozambique. The deadly storm that hit southern African countries this week has shown the reality of climate crisis, a UN official has said. The death toll from the destruction caused by Storm Anna has risen to, risen to 86. Rescue workers are trying to reach tens of thousands who have been cut off as roads and bridges have been washed away in Madagascar, Mozambique, and Malawi. Authorities are now watching to see if a second storm, but Serai, will hit the continent next week. In Mozambique, where 18 people have been killed and 120,000 people affected, Maria Luisa Fornara from the UN Children's Fund UNICEF describes Storm Anna as a blunt reminder of the impact that climate change is having. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said more investment was needed to protect and save lives. In one neighborhood of Madagascar's capital, Antenor and Tananarivo, people are having to use canoes to reach their flooded homes. I lost my fishing boat. It was swept away by the strong wind. Abdul Ibrahim, a fisherman in Mozambique's Nambola province, province told AFP news agency, I have never seen anything like this before. It will be difficult for me to recover. Seeking temporary, temporary shelter in a classroom for her and her two children, Maria Jose told AFP that the first winds had blown away her house. I have nothing left. I, I lost everything. Some of the infrastructure that had been rebuilt after Cyclone Ida in 2019 has been destroyed again in Madagascar, which was the first country to be hit on Monday. The death toll now stands at 48 and some 72,000 are reported to have lost their homes. I'm very sad because we, we worked like crazy to make money and now our house is destroyed, one woman said, surveying the damage that was caused. Many people in Malawi, like elsewhere in the region, are now having to rebuild their destroyed home. Malawi's president, Lazarus Chakwera, declared a state of emergency in the wake of the storm, which left 20 people dead in the country.